good, perfect. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Ah! Nice! That's a big trout. Nice! <laughs> What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm fishing with quite possibly the only YouTuber that I consistently watch, uh, my buddy Taku. So he does Outdoor Chef's Life. He's a, uh, you're a classically trained sushi chef, correct? Yeah. So he goes all over, he lives in the Bay Area, so he goes all over and catches tuna and halibut, and lingcod, all kinds of fish um, in that area and basically turns it into sushi on the spot if it's a fish that you can do with sushi, otherwise he cooks it in some way that looks much better than any way I like to cook fish. He's got his lovely girlfriend, Jocelyn, over there. And uh, yeah, we're just fishing. Um, wanted, wanted to get him into a, obviously a big pyramid fish, but almost as importantly, we're trying to catch a fish in the slot limit, so like 17 to 20 inches, um, or 24 or bigger. We don't want to catch a fish too big to eat and keep, because like, I don't think we want to eat three pounds of trout each right now. So we're going to look for a fish in that like, you know, three to five pound range. It's probably 24 inches on the dot or even a smaller fish from 17 to 20. But bring it after, do some fishing. We're out here, gorgeous day. It's warming up. They were freezing last night. It was raining on them. I was asleep in my nice warm bed. But uh, yeah, we're going to get after it. Slow, slow, slow. I think I just missed that one fish this morning and now, we are waiting and waiting patiently, but we've called it. First fish yeah. is gonna be Taku, <laughs> and I'm gonna guess. I said 11 pounds, he said five pounds. It's a little under underestimation there, I, I would I'd like to think, but why don't you be on the dot five? I don't know what I'm talking about anyways. Whoa. Oh, baby. A little tighter, a little tighter, a little tighter. Oh, oh no. no. All right, that's a good sign, though. Yeah. Nice, dude. Way to be on that hook set. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I just came around a button. Hey, did it dunk pretty hard, just kind of gone? Yeah, it was kind of slow, actually. Okay, well, hey. Nice. Yeah, no, you're good. That was a good hook set. He just kind of came unbuttoned. That's the thing with those barbless hooks. Yeah. It happens sometimes. When is on a fish. Yep, let go of the reel. There you go. Keep the rod tip up. You're going to keep it up in a nice bend in it. Yep, perfect. This is a big fish. Yeah. This is a big fish. Yeah. Yep, you're good. You're good. Now reel. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Reel a little bit. Yep. Let go of the reel now. Reel a little bit more. Nice. Keep reeling. Keep going. Keep going. All right, now let go. Perfect. Oh, he's big. Nice. All right, right, chip up. There you go. Perfect. You good there? You good? Big fish. Big fish. Ooh, big fish here. <laughs> nice, Jocelyn. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Oh, let go of the reel. Let go of the reel. Let go. Let you good. Okay. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Once that starts to pull real hard on you, just let go of the reel, but you're doing great. <laughs> big fish, big trout. All right, reel a little bit. Reel, reel, reel. Try and get her head up to me. Perfect. You're good, you're good, perfect. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Ah! Nice! That's a big trout. Nice! That's a big fish. Well done. Nice. Ate them. Look how pretty they are. Gorgeous, big tail. Jeez. Look at that thing. That's Powerful cool. fish. There she goes. Ooh. Wow. Nice. nice. Well done. <laughs> All right. So we fished hard this morning. Didn't really get that much love. I had one dunk like first thing, but nothing really much after that. We moved spots to where we are now. 
uh, especially with my buddy Nick Jackson is another guide out here he got two little guys and then he left so we were like eh, we'll stick it through for a second and see what happens Taku immediately hooks up basically the moment Nick leaves with a nice that's probably 20 21 inch fish kind of right in the size that we're looking for to keep Unfortunately, he totally blew it and lost the fish. <laughs> right by my feet. But uh, so now we're in the process. We, we already caught a giant, which is sick. Um, and now we're trying to get Taku on a nice fish and then hopefully get one in that slot limit so that we don't have to try and keep a 10 pound trout because that just seems a little bit excessive. So wish us luck. We'll continue on the, on the journey. You guys will come along. Somehow I managed to record this as a hyperlapse and not a video, but it was a very important clip. So um, I'm just standing here fishing, watching my bobber, hoping that something happens at some point. When all of a sudden Taku's indicator goes down, he sets the hook and bam, he's tied in on a decent fish. I walk over, we net the fish rather quickly. Um, and this is right on the cusp of what we want uh, fish size to keep and eat. So uh, I give the net to Taku, I go over and I grab my uh, tape measure, I get that, I come back, we measure the fish. Um, at first I didn't get a great measurement of the fish, um, and then on the second measurement we realized it was about 25 or 24 and a quarter inches, so basically right on the slot limit size, a little bit bigger, um, which is right where you, we were hoping to be. Um, but I didn't know this was a rule, but fortunately a, a ranger came by while we were preparing for doing lunch. Um, he comes by and tells us that you're technically not supposed to fillet the fish on the on the reservation and needs to be verified by a ranger. Fortunately, he verified it. We kind of told him what we were doing. and He's like, yeah, you guys are totally fine to fillet this and eat it. Um, so we actually ended up filleting this fish on the reservation, which apparently is not allowed unless a, a ranger has verified the size of the fish. So let's get back to the video and yeah. All right, so we hopped off the water. Taku's about to make us a delicious Lahontan cutthroat trout meal. Still have never had one of these fish before. I'm very intrigued. But so we're gonna get this set up, get this all rolling, and yeah. hopefully have some delicious food to eat in a moment. It's got this sweet little, basically it aerates right here. It heats it up and it keeps it ripping. It's so cool. So Taku is going to fillet this fish. I don't know if you guys have saw my latest filleting of fish video, but this will probably be about the same, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's an absolute joke. I'm horrible at flaying fish, and Taku's a pretty much what you could call a professional at it. All right. Here we go. Let's get started. I'm going to take the head off first and the collar, too. Yeah, just right here. Ooh, look how sharp this knife is. I'm trying to 
Blade with Japanese whiskey, right? Yeah. Looks so good. We're about to grab. Get into this. I'll let you know first impressions. And then we're just gonna eat. I'm gonna share any of these two. Well, we got a little carried away eating the fish. Um, first off, Nick Jackson said that these fish are not good. Nick Jackson's a liar. And don't listen to anything Nick has to say. Um, <laughs> unless it's about fishing, then he knows what he's talking about. But Taku crushed it. Uh, we have some lovely beers that we're having, enjoying, and uh, food was great, as you can see. Honestly, when we first had that fish, I was like, "Man, that's a lot of fish." I don't know how I don't know how well we're gonna do with that, but didn't stand a chance. So mm -hmm. appreciate these two for Thank coming out. Work. They drove all the way up from the bay. They're heading down to uh, Yosemite to spend Thanksgiving down there with some friends. Um, but yeah, we were able to get out here and have a good time. We might go down here, fish a little bit longer. So if something happens after this, I'll show you. If nothing happens after this, this will be the end. So cheers, you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to hit the like and subscribe. Appreciate you guys for coming along. Check out Taku. He's Outdoor Chef's Life. I'll link him down in the description. And uh, yeah, until next time. Later. It's like startling enough. It's like, yes, finally. Like that. All right, got him. He's like probably 20 inches, 21 inches. Look at that eye. He's looking at the GoPro like, what are you doing? Why are you recording? Ready? Nice. Cool.